Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to create a CHM file. So this CHM file you can use with your C Sharp uh, project or with your Visual C++ project or any other uh, Visual Studio uh, project very easily. So let me show you in the last video, I have shown you how to create this kind of uh, CHM file. Generally, these type of file we use as a user user manual or a help desk, or maybe sometimes we can use it to publish a book online. And this you can create very easily. And I have shown you how you can create a very simple uh, CHM file uh, with a tool which we have downloaded in the last video. So in this video, I will show you how to uh, open this CHM file with your C Sharp project. So generally, if we see here, your help is in the tool strip. So we are going to take a tool strip or a menu bar. You can take any of them. So for example, I take menu strip and here you can provide a menu item or text box or whatever you want so for example i provide a menu item and once again a new item and i name it as help and here i will uh, go one further down and i will create a user manual menu tab and when I click this menu tab I reach to my menu manual tool strip menu item click event right and here I simply write help dot show help and in the bracket we pass two argument one argument is this comma and second argument is the path to your chm file so we will write file colon forward slash and now you can give the path of this colon should be single colon and now you can path uh, give the path of your chm file which is our compile html help file so i will right click go to the properties go to securities and i will copy all the path of the file which is a chm file just remember that okay and I will go to my project and I will paste it here and because I have single slash I will make all the slash slashes double so it will not show me any error okay so this is the path to my chm file and now I just simply run my program and it's running will succeed and so my program is running now I can go to this menu strip and I will click user manual and you can see here this help manual is open now so it's very easy to create a help manual or user manual for your software with this procedure. So I hope you will uh, use this technique with your project and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please keep watching these videos and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.